Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Van Channel where I get solutions to all the solving problems. It's nine seven in class again today. How have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to download a world geological map, and then from there we are going to extract that of Africa and then that of Nigeria to make them a geological map out of it, right? Good. So you search for world geological map um, USGS and then you click on the link that um, says um, setmapper.cr.usgs.gov.ng so let's um, open that in the new tab so when that um, page is open since we are trying to download that of um, Africa we are going to click on data on um, science base however depending on your location you can just um, scroll through the page and then select the region that is of interest to you right and then for that of Africa, we are going to download the sufficial um, geology of Africa. So we click on data on science base. Good. So we have the page up and then we are trying to download what the ship file. Yeah. So we have the other files in it. You can decide to just click on this link and then download the complete file that is zipped. Right. Good. So we've already downloaded it. We are going to navigate to where the downloaded file is and then um, open it on MQGIS. So you can also download some other auxiliary files that can help you understand the data perhaps as you scroll through the page, right? Good. So we've navigated to the folder where we have downloaded the data. You can see geo 7 underscore 2 ag and then we have extracted. You just right click and then you extract here, right? Good. Because we want to extract to that folder that contains the zip file so i haven't done that we come back to qgis we go to layer we go to add layer we try to add a vector layer then we browse to navigate to where that particular data is good so we are under geological map and then you can see that we have sorted it to show only um, s shape files and then we have this there we open we add and then we close so this is the data we have downloaded you can see it covers the whole of africa and then before we proceed we can decide to just change the symbology okay let's open the attribute table first when we open the attribute table we are going to see different fields that um, try to define the data we've downloaded but we see this as the field that contains the different geology that um, we are trying to consider so if we try to come back to symbology and then we categorize we use the symbology based on that particular field as a category and then we try to use random color we can see different colors that um, are showing the different geology that we have downloaded right good so what we need is that we want to extract that of nigeria out of this um, africa shape file so we are going to bring in um, a nigeria shape file that is already dissolved so we still come back to layer, add layer, add vector layer, and then we browse. Good. So we have one here dissolved. We add and then we close. Good. So you can see Nigeria there. So we can decide to just um, make this simple line and then try to make this 0.5. And then, okay, let's leave it at that black so that we can see through, right? So the next thing is that we want to clip this Africa geological data set to the extent of Nigeria boundary. So we go to vector geoprocessing clip. So the input will be the geological data, the overlay will be what the Nigerian dissolved, and then we run. So we can now close, and then if we close this, we can just see the geology as clipped to Nigerian boundary. The next thing is that we can still decide to change the symbology to categorize using that field glg as the um, field to sort and then we apply and then we click on ok now if we come back to the attribute table again we can see under that glg field we can see different keys we believe that these keys represent the different geology of interest that um, is within your project area so we have this guide if we scroll down to the entity and attribute information we are going to see what Q represents, what um, QE represents, what T represents, TK. So these are different maybe rock formations or different geological representations as we can see from what this attribute table. So this can be as a guide to understanding what we see here, right? Good. 
now going further we can decide to make a map out of this because this is not just going to be the end so we come to project we go to a um, new print layout and then we call this a um, geological map good so the new print layout is open then we are going to leave it as a4 and then the orientation we leave it as what landscape right good so the first thing i want us to add is that i want us to add a border line so we go to add shape and then we add a rectangle so the rectangle will define the space upon which we are going to show or display our maps now the rectangle is filled so we go to we make it a um, outline and then we make the thickness about 0.5 right good so this will serve as what the borderline that we are going to use then we come to add item and then we try to add the map so the map we are trying to add is that um, geology map of geology that we already have on our screen there right good so as it is now we can still do a few things you know based on this scale we can decide to increase it so that it covers the so that it can cover the space we have provided very well or we can do it manually but for the purpose of this tutorial this is um, about 64 million so let's see good so we have about 5 million there so let's make this um 55 okay that's still fair enough we can still decide to stretch it a bit now as this map is if we try to move it this way we are moving the whole of the map selection right good so if we only want to move the map we can select or click on move item content so if we click on that we can just move the map that we have inserted right good so if you want to create a space here for some other elements of your map you can actually do that but um, let's still leave it back this way and then we click on um, select or move items now since this is here we can decide to do a few stuff the first of which is that we can decide to add um, one of the map elements which is what the not arrow so we click on add not arrow and then we insert it there right now the not arrow there are other options you can choose from so you can see under the app um, symbols if you click on arrows you can see different um, arrows that um, you can actually use for your map right good but for the purpose of the tutorial we are going to use that particular one and then now that we have made it all black we can still add a few more elements and then we can just come up to add the scale bar so let's say we need our scale bar somewhere around there and then the units kilometers is not bad if we decide to increase the segment we are going to see that the scale bar will get a bit longer than it was right good and then we can also change the style if we want a um, double box or if we want the line to be ticked up or down right good so you can see that it's a bit faint you can just um, refresh it to have the resolution of choice now having done that we can still come to display under font try to change the font to to whatever type we want and then also the style to maybe bold or whatever and then if we want to also increase the size we can do that as well so let's take it back to regular and then we just leave it at that the next we are going to consider is um, we want to include the grid right good so we have selected the map we have added so we scroll down to grid we add and then we select grid one and then we modify right so the grid type will be solid and then the project crs is actually in a um, wgs 4 which is a geographic crs right good so for the interval let's say we need two for the longitude and then we need two for the latitude right good so that's not too good so let's make it 2.5 so 2.5 and 2 are fair enough then we don't want the lines to be too loud on our map so we can just make it a marker or maybe make it a cross right and then we can rightly reduce the opacity of that cross so let's make it 20 and then we go back the next thing is that these lines can actually display the coordinates because they are grids right so under the frame style we click on um, exterior ticks so the coordinates will now be displayed on those exterior ticks so we scroll down to display or draw coordinates rather and then the coordinate format let's say degree mint and seconds with what suffix right good so you now see we have the degree mint and seconds with suffix 
and then if we still scroll down we are going to see that at this point we're having our coordinates split to three decimal places which we don't need so let's take it back to zero right good so now i haven't done that we can still modify the orientation of the nothing axis of our coordinates right good so what do we do we try to come to the left right top and bottom so this time around we are looking at the right and the left so we change the left instead of it to be horizontal we make it vertically ascending right similarly for the right we also make it vertically ascending right good now having done that we can decide to move this closer to our borderline we also come to this area and move it closer to our borderline right now we can still decide to draw a frame so that those ticks can be joined by the frame and having done that our not arrow can also be affected a bit we try to bring it in side of the frame and then for the scale we also take it to this point right good remember we can still now we are getting somewhere gradually right so we need to keep a space at the top perhaps for the title of the map so we can still drag this down a bit and then don't worry we will adjust the map inside let's also bring down the not arrow to this point okay we can decide to reduce it right so we come to add item and then we add a label so inside of the label we call that geology of nigeria right then we can work on the font times to roman is very good we make it bold and then maybe we increase the size to about 20 and then if we come back here we try to center keep it in the middle and then we drag it down a bit okay and then we refresh to change the texture now we can still decide to bring it to the center good so we have geology of nigeria there then we come back to our map and then we try to work on the scale good so this scale is fair enough and then okay at this point i can still decide to modify the eastern axis so we still come back to the grid click on that grid one and then we modify so we make this 2.5 as well good so this is better on both sides right good so we have that we can also decide to increase the font size of those coordinates now it has changed to open sun we can make it times to roman because that's what we want make it bold and then make this about 15 right okay that's too big so we can make it 12 so these are some modifications that um, you can do to your map for legibility and maybe clarity now the next item we are going to add is what a uh, legend so we click on um, add item and then we go to add legend right so we define the space here good now the legend is coming in as a vertical legend we are going to do a few things here we are going to turn off the auto update so that um, we can be able to delete some stuff from here having done that we decide to take up the dissolved because we are not interested in um, showing it right good then we can also okay take off this one because that shows the composite and then we have the clipped to be that of um, nigeria right good then our legend will not be very good for it to be just a single column so we can decide to split it to multiple columns right so we scroll down here we get to columns and then before ever we split it we need to click on split layers right then we now increase it to two you now see that it has been split to two so we have about two columns that are showing what the different um, geological entities that um, we have within nigeria so let's um, refresh that most times i don't like to have um, a background for my legend so i take up the background and then for it to be framed let's or be in a box rather let's um, put a frame around it right so we have that there then instead of having clipped we can decide to hide it or okay let's hide it and then let's give it um 
a general name as what legend right then the legend that we have there we can also decide to place it at the center so we come to alignment and we keep it at the center then we still drag this up a bit we bring it down here and then i think we're having something more presentable than when we started right so these are the different components that define the geology of nigeria and then we have them as the legend there we have our scale we have the grids we have the not arrow we have a title and i think basically the map is ready right good so if you want to add a few modifications that's um, up to you so the next part of it is for us to export this map as either an image or a pdf so we try to ensure that everything is um, fixed and then we go to export as pdf or export as image good so we have a um, geological map we click on save and then for the export option we leave it as default as it is and we save if we click on this it takes us to the map we have exported and then we can actually open that map to see the beautiful geology of nigeria that we have actually what designed or created right good so basically we've shown you using um, qgis and then downloading the data from um, world geodetic maps site that's the set papa extracted the data to that of nigeria and then finally produced a geology of nigeria map right good so if you have um, any question contribution comment you can leave it on the comment section and we'll get back to you if you have stuff like this you would want us to help you arrange we can also do that for you so until we see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a fantastic time Bye.